Local new tonight, a Utah County woman says she was wrongfully discriminated against at BioLife Plasma Center in American Fork, all because of, she says, her wardrobe. She says she's donated several times before with no issues while wearing similar clothes. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen has her story and response from the Plasma Center. Rebecca Ortina says she came to this BioLife Plasma Center in American Fork Wednesday evening to make her sixth donation. She showed up in this tank top and sweats. Yesterday was like 95 degrees in the heat and it is always hotter between like four and six. And so I was wearing clothes that were easy to access because you know, they have to get to my arms to take the blood pressure. But before she got to the donation chair, she says a manager pulled her into their office and asked her to leave because of what she was wearing. As we were leaving the office, she said, you know, we have a lot of RMs, so LDS return missionaries, that donate here, and your shirt is very distracting. Ortina says she refused to leave until she could get the incident documented in writing or a copy of their dress code. The manager allegedly declined and then decided to call American Fork Police. And I said, no, please do call the police so that I have a written report on what has been happening. In a statement to ABC4 News, a representative for BioLife Plasma Center wrote in part, quote, our goal is to ensure BioLife standards are clear to both our employees and donors visiting the center. As such, we are reviewing our center protocols across all of our facilities to ensure that they are being communicated effectively and applied consistently. Ortina says she's speaking out about this incident not just because she disagrees with how it was handled, but also to be an example for her kids. You know, I have two little girls, um, and I don't want them to be ashamed of their body. I don't want them to be ashamed of what they're wearing, and I want them to be comfortable. Reporting in American Fork, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.